Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I just have a Michaels haul for you guys because I went to a Michaels today that is closing down um, for good. So that location is closing, not Michaels itself, but that location and everything was 50% off. Some things even a little bit cheaper once you got to check out, but the price checks were coming out at regular price and you had to kind of say, okay, this is half, but each thing was different and nothing was labeled clearly. I waited an hour and a half online or actually babe did while I kept walking around the store and just bringing stuff back to the basket and just dropping it off. But um, yeah, guys, it was a hot mess over there, um, but I got some good stuff. So let me show you guys what I got. So I did pick up some paper and so the paper, some of it was $10, some of it was coming up to $3. So I picked up some paper and I really wanted to get the sugar plum, even though I do have it, but I know, you know, um, <laughs> this one was a popular one and it's, you know, you can't really find it anymore. So I thought I would pick it up. I could do lots with this next year. I mean, the reason I don't use a lot of my paper pads is because I'm like, well, if I use it, then I run out and I can't get any more. So I made sure to get um, a few of these. So I picked up three of the sugar plum and I haven't seen this at any other location. All the other locations seem to have gotten rid of their Christmas stuff. This location, because they probably knew they were closing, they kind of kept everything still. They didn't have like Valentine's Day section or anything out. Um, they were just closing. So this was just kind of from before they didn't bother, you know, switching over to Valentine's Day. So they had still, they still had Christmas, which was awesome. Even though I was looking for last year's Valentine's Day collection specifically, but they didn't have, but I'm happy I found this. Then I also picked up this paper pad and this one is called the Love Letter. Again, this is one that you don't really see anymore. I picked it up because I love this and I make a lot of wedding cards with this paper pad. I think it's just so girly and so fun and just so pretty. So I got this one as well. I picked up some more paper, not a lot because I was literally at Michael's two days ago where they had the paper for $3.99 and I picked up a bunch then. But because it was $3 this time, and I did pick up the wrong pink one last time. I ended up getting another pack of gold because these were $3 half off because normally it's $5.99. So, and then I got um, two of the pink. And then I got this one, which is called White Dove. It's like, it's not ivory. It's like just an off-white color. So I picked this one up. It's not white, white. It's not ivory. It's kind of like a creamish color, but not dark. So I don't mind this. So then I just picked up some of those. I also picked up this sticker book that's just full of florals. And these are the stickers inside of here. And one of them, this one matches the Pink Peonies collection, one of their new hot buys. So I, that's why I wanted to get that for those few sheets in here. But this is just full of florals. So I could add these as embellishments or to cards or whatever. And I never really buy the sticker packs, but I thought this would be helpful also in just making some cards with my scraps when I use up a paper. I picked up these two packs of flowers because why not at half off? <laughs> and I always use flowers, so I got these two. I got lots of ribbons and things, guys. So this one looks like this. It's just, I don't know, it looks like a cool ribbon. And I love how it has like little sparkles. So I picked this one up. Every, all the ribbon was half off. And like I said, everything was half off. I got this pink lacy one. I've been really into lace and pearls. So had to get that. I was happy to find that. Then I got this lacy one. Because like I said, I've been loving lace and pearls and everything. And you guys know that. It's been happening for a while now. I got this cool one. It's like an ombre pink. And I thought this would be so cute to use as an album closure. And I could just take out the wire. It's got this little teeny wire. I could take that out. I don't have to use the wire. Um, so I got that. I got this black one. Again, same idea. I could take out the wire of this and use this as a closure. But I thought it was pretty. So I got that one. And this is what that one looks like. Then I got this one. I wanted a silky one. 
This is like a peachy pink, so I picked this one up. Then I got this lacy one. I thought this would be so cute for a junk journal. So cute. So I got this one. I also got some more, so I got this sequin one. I thought this would look so cute on a binding of an album, like a Valentine's Day album. How cute would that look, right? I think it would just look so adorable. So I got this one. I also got this. I believe I have this already, and I like making bows out of this. So I got this, because half off, how do you say no? I think I have this already too, and I have yet to use it, but <laughs> stocking up, guys. Stocking up at half off. And then I got this ribbon because Christmas was 70% off. And the other day um, on my album, I used kind of like this pattern um, ribbon on the spine of my album. And it wasn't as thick as I had wanted it to be, but it was also just like fabric. And this one is like, this one's soft. Like this is like fuzzy. And I thought that was really nice. So I thought this would be amazing to use on a spine of an album. So I picked that up as well. I also picked up some baggies, so I got these treat bags. I saw Rosa Kelly make an album with these things. I hope it's the same ones, I don't know. But I wanted to make an album too, so I got that. Then I got these baggies. And they, they're, these were in like the food section, like the cake decorating and stuff section, but I thought these were nice baggies for Happy Mail. And then I got this, because this is a nice um, size for journals or traveler's notebook kind of things and it comes with like the dot grid a plain one and then like a planner one so i couldn't take it apart include it or just cover it up with paper and i thought that would be good to use um then i also picked up some brads so i got these brads these are just in gold and i got this size but i also got slightly bigger and these are just um circly ones so i got these two I've been using a lot of brads lately, so I got those, and I tend to always go for gold, because I embellish with gold. I got these stars, they're glitter stars, and I used a lot of these lately also. Then I got some Christmassy ones, and these are smaller, and they kind of look like buttons, if you guys could tell. They look like little buttons. So I got those, and then I picked up this multicolored eyelets, and they're like the little teeny ones, and it comes in like this little jar, but I just wanted um, some little colors and more options. I mean, I have a ton of colors, but I don't feel like I have a ton of metal colors, so I got those. I also picked up this um, paper cutter blade. I used this for my paper cutter, and it was on sale for a two-pack. Um, and they only had one left, otherwise I would have picked up more, but got to stock up on these supplies. Then I also got some Copic markers. So I have like this one pack of Copic markers and, you know, they're expensive. So if they're on sale, might as well get them. So I got this one in R39. I got this one. This one is RV34. I got this one. That These are the kind of markers that I have currently. This one's R20. It's called the Blush. And these are the Copic Chow. Then I got this one. This one is R81. Got so many colors, guys. Got this one. This one is RV25. Lots of pinks. <laughs> I got this one. This one's RV21. Did I get two RV21s? Oh my gosh. Oh no, I didn't. That one's 25. Okay. I think we're okay. Unless this is RV21. Nope. Okay. So we're good. So I got that one. I got this yellow one. Y21. Buttercup yellow. And then I got this one, which is R00. It's called Pinkish White. I got it because it was like a nice, really light pink. So I just got some more Copic markers. I don't use them often, but when I do, I found that I run out of colors that I need. I don't have like a lot of colors, so I got those. And then I just picked up a lot of sequins because they were half off. So I got more of these stars. I also got these stars, these smaller ones. And I did also get them in silver. 
And then also the smaller silver stars. They're just fun to add to sequin mixes, so I got those. I got some of these in two different sizes. So these are like the hologram ones. You got a small one and a bigger one. I would tell you the size, but it doesn't... Oh, wait. This one's 5 millimeter. This one's 8 millimeter. And it's good to have a variety of sizes. I got these hearts because Valentine's Day. So they just look like that. I got some of these like champagne gold ones. They only had two left of these. And this comes with the three different sizes already. So I got two of those. And then like the glittery ones. And it comes with 5mm, 8mm, and 10mm. And then I got two of these guys. And again, these also come with the three different sizes. But these are like the clear iridescent ones. So I got those. I got some of the red glitter because I always use these for Christmas or Valentine's Day. And it seems like my reds have been going so fast. So I got three packs of those, again, in the three different sizes. I also got um, just regular, well, I guess these are like the hologram sequins. They've like got the little bits in them. And I got them in two different sizes in red. So one of them is 5 millimeters and the other one is 10 millimeters. I wish these would like pick up better on camera. It's like hard to show you guys. And then I just got a regular gold because you can never have too much gold to add to add to your mixes. So I got that as well. And that is all that I picked up, guys. It was expensive between like the Copic markers and stuff, because even these were even though they were half off, these are normally eight dollars. So um, some of it was pricey. I think I even got them for cheaper than $4, I believe, though. I think they were coming up, um, less. I believe this one was, like, $1.92, if I'm not mistaken. And I think these ones were, like, $3.84. So a little less than $4. But I just got a bunch, guys. Um, yeah, it helps with my voucher that I had for Michael's using my rewards. And I got a bunch of stuff. So... That is it, guys. That is it for my haul video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next crafty video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye!